Zoya Sugar Company is one of the key players in Kenya's sugar industry. Zoya Sugar started operations in 1978 to uh, curb rural urban migration. The government is a major shareholder owning 98% of the shares, while five still and IDB capital own the remaining 2%. Zoya Sugar Company is governed by a board of directors and a team of 12 heads of department who manage the company under the managing director with an aim of steering the company towards achieving the mission and the vision. Those departments are as follows. Factory, production, PR, human resource, agriculture, agriculture services, ICT, finance, general administration, internal audit, sales, and marketing department. The company is a major contributor to the national economy, contributing billions of shillings through sugar development levy, value added tax, and pay as you earn. At the moment, the factory capacity is 3,000 tons uh, of cane per day. Due to modernization of some processes in the factory, we have been able to mill uh, up to 3,700 uh, tons per day. This has uh, resulted in us milling a total of 911,000 tons of cane, which produced uh, sugar. 86,000 tons. This is the highest the company has ever produced in its history and we expect that we will continue with that efficiency in future until we do a factory expansion in to 7,000 tons of cane per day. The Sugar Company is an equal opportunity employer which seeks to employ qualified and competent staff for its workforce. The company employs 8,000 people on permanent, casual, temporary basis and approximately supports 2.5 million people who rely on sugar farming directly or indirectly. Under the Human Resources Department, our main function is to ensure uh, optimum recruitment numbers of staff and also to ensure that uh, staff work under the required statutory requirements. This includes issues to do with the gender, and disability mainstreaming. We also do run training programs uh, for staff and currently are emphasizing on the issue of uh, staff apprenticeship where we do rec recruit young school leavers to join various trades within the organization. We also do have community services. This is under mainly our clinic and welfare divisions and mainly these are uh, activities geared towards uh, amongst other things uh, drugs and substance abuse prevention and also issues affecting HIV and AIDS. The organization recently conducted a job evaluation exercise and this uh, is geared towards making uh, a restructuring arrangement so that the organization is strategically focused to drive the strategy and amongst other issues uh, improved salary remunerations for staff and performance in relation to career progressions. The company boasts of having the largest nucleus estate in East Africa, spanning over 3,300 hectares, which contributes 20% of the cane required for crushing at the factory. However, 80% of the cane required for the crushing is derived from outgrower zone, which covers a surface area of 25,000 hectares of cane. The company serves over 73,000 farmers in Bungoma County and parts of Kakamega County who supply the bulk of the cane required for crushing of the company. In order for the company to get adequate good quality cane, the company supports farmers in terms of rendering services like land preparation, survey, seed cane supply, fertilizer supply, harvesting and transport. And these services are given at uh, graded, which is recovered when the cane, is, when cane has been harvested. The company, in collaboration with the Sugar Directorate, has installed a cane sucrose testing unit, which is on a pilot basis. Following that development, the company has educated farmers on the importance of growing early maturing and high sucrose content cane varieties like cane 83 to 737 
and other varieties which are still at testing fairs. In order to also avoid one of the challenges affecting cane development, the company in collaboration with the Sugar Directorate and Sugar Research Institute is in its process of establishing a pilot cane irrigation project on its nuclear estate. This is in a bid to establish if indeed cane irrigation in Zoya Sugar scheme will lead in increase in yield and cane quality. This project is at a tendering stage. The company takes keen interest in matters of cane transport and harvesting which contribute largely to the efficiency of the overall factory performance. The company has therefore invested over 100 million shillings in tractors and cane haulage. This has brought about high efficiency and harmonized cane transportation management. We currently have 10 basket trailers and 15 flatbed trailers in our company fleet and have plans to increase the fleet in the future. Use of the flatbed trailers which have assisted us minimize the spillage of cane and root because they are manually loaded. The flatbed trailers are 15 in number. They are also uh, uh, together with the basket trailers which are 10 in number. Total we have 25 units which the company is using to support the cane transport together with the contracted transport by which is giving us 80% of the total cane delivery. The company has geared to carry out further innovative ideas like the use of high payload trucks which carry 30 to 35 ton, tons per trip and coupling with two flatbed trailers to maximize on capacities of 90% HP tractors. Following a large farmer's outcry on the high cost of transport, the company has begun the process of constructing field way bridges in Weyete and Mahese in western and eastern regions, a feat which will enhance cane haulage by reducing spillage and transport costs. For the 37 years Zoya Sugar Company has been in operation, it has grown in leaps and bounds. In order to increase the overall efficiency and of company operation in general, the company has engaged in rigorous modernization programs to enhance productivity in various levels of operation. The factory has been relying on a 3 megawatt uh, turbine for power supply. This has not been sufficient for our operations and we have been supplementing with Kenya Power. But currently we are in, in installing a 4 megawatt uh, turbine which will be able to give us adequate power for our operation and reduce the liability on Kenya power, something which will improve our efficiency. Over the years, we have been also carrying out uh, modernization and automation of the factory to improve uh, throughput and uh, product quality. The company started crashing with a capacity of 2,000 tons of cane per day and increased the capacity to 3,000 tons of cane per day, a capacity the company seeks to maintain and uphold to date. In terms of the factory performance, the factory has been addressing various bottlenecks to realize the rated capacity. These have seen the factory go through a rigorous factory modernization program as part of the factory's performance. In one of the areas that the modernization program addressed is the rehabilitation of cane carrier elevator, which has improved efficiency. Secondly, is the boiler rehabilitation which has improved the steam gen generation. Another key bottleneck of the factory modernization program addressed in the insulation is the insulation and commissioning of the second dryer, which also improved efficiency and throughput. Finally, the installation of the commissioning of the spray bond system improved vacuum, throughput, and sugar quality. These improvements have enabled the company to achieve and sustain the rated capacity of 3000 TCD production of quality products, high level of efficiency and increased throughput contributing to competitive cost of production. We are also installing a syrup clarifier. This is mainly meant to enable us produce white sugar because at the moment we are only producing brown sugar. So once the syrup clarifier starts operating, we'll be having two brands, mill white sugar and uh, brown sugar. We are also intending to introduce or to procure a system called mud decanter. This is going to help us in terms of recovery of sugar, the filters. That is a, we have planned to procure that. At the moment, we have also planned to, to install to procure and install a distillery that will be using our molasses. 
Nzoya upholds the culture of quality which is expressed in the production of high quality sugar. This is done through constant quality control checks on the sugar process which are constantly monitored to ensure that the key operating parameters are achieved and maintained. Some of those parameters are temperature, pH, pressure, vacuum, housekeeping and sanitation. This process ensures the sugar produced is as per the state international standards and fit for consumption. The future looks bright as the company plans to expand its capacity to 7000 TCD which diversified products best to include core generation, ethanol production and water bottling. With such a product best, it will be possible to compete regionally as well as globally while ensuring good returns of sugar cane farmers. Nzoya sugar is produced and packaged in various sizes. Bulk packages of 50 kg, 25 kg, 10 kg and 5 kg and branded packages of 2 kg, 1 kg, half kg and a quarter kg. Basically our aim is to be able to meet each and every person in the society, those who are buying small quantities. And we've been able to develop a strong partnership with a number of our customers across the country. We have customers in Nairobi, we have customers in Mount Kenya, we have customers in, uh, in Western Nyanza and Rift Valley. And their support and confidence in our product has been tremendous. And as a department, as we project in the next one year, our aim and our objective is to take this to the next level, to be the leader marketing department in the sugar industry where customers are valued, customers are important. We have an open system where they can give us feedback, they can interact with us on every aspect. To be able to enhance our market share on branded sugar, we, we've done a huge investment. And we recently added a two branded sugar machine. There is a third one that is under commissioning. And we're expecting even more going forward. And we target to control the branded sugar market in the next one or two years. Our sugar is also available in major markets like Nakumat, Naivas, Tuskis, Ukwala, and Uchumi supermarkets. In order to meet the growing demand of high quality branded sugar, the company has two modern packaging machines in operation and it's set to install a third branding machine. These three machines have a capacity to produce about 50% of the total production. Zoya Sugar is in line with the current technological advancement in information, communication technology, has engaged in various automation programs with the ultimate goal of improving an integrated solution for ICT growth in the company. The company has got a five-year strategic plan in running from 2012 to 2017, which includes planned ICT investments to the tune of 350 million shillings to upscale its automation and give the company a competitive edge. Part of the plan is to come up with an ERP end-to-end -end solution data center which upon completion will be one of its kind in the region for disaster recovery, fiber optic for reliable bandwidth and online presence for mobile services to support field operations. The entire company is comprised of business processes and business functional areas and as a result to offer sustainable and effective service delivery to all departments and all sections that run the business of Zoya Sugar Company, ICT as a department, we came up with a strategic plan that runs for five years, running from 2012 to 2017. In our strategic plan, we covered three key areas that are of major concern just to ensure that the company is put at competitive edge with others and then it can compete effectively and maximize on efficiencies. Once we maximize on efficiencies, this will cut down on costs because the inefficiencies are normally the gaps that create an opportunity for loss. As a company, in our strategic plan, we captured infrastructure as key to our business. We captured ICT governance, where it involves the labor force within the department and the experienced staff that may belong. And then we captured the automation. In our strategic plan, we have so far strived to achieve ICT governance by employing reputable professional staff 
to join the department and drive the automation business. The Nzoya community is an integral part of Nzoya Sugar Company since it is the main source of resources that provide the company with the capacity to operate smoothly in different levels. Corporate social responsibility undoubtedly plays a critical role in ensuring that part of the Zoya company's income is plowed back to the community in various ways as captured in the company's corporate social responsibility policy document. Zoya Sugar Company has specifically carried out its corporate social responsibility programs through critical areas such as education, health, infrastructure development, environment, youth development and sports, emergency and donation among others. Through the sponsorship of the company where they gave us land, uh, we were given land, 25 acres, on which we are supposed to establish this school. And also, the company has sponsored us through uh, uh, installing for us electricity, which again they pay for us. They have given us uh, four slots of sponsorship. So the uh, board members are always here supporting this school, checking on the programs, and also updating the MD on what is going on in the school. And it's through that that the company has known where we have defaults and they have supported us throughout. When they brought in the bus and gave us more awards to students who are to perform better, they promised, the chairperson promised 10,000 on any person who will score a B plus and above. It made the students to struggle. We had never scored a B+. Uh, 2014, we moved to a mean of 6.3, and uh, the best grade was B+, plus two students. Zoya Company engages in broad infrastructure development initiatives in partnership with the CARA and the county government.